Hello and welcome back to Cataclysm Naked and Afraid. I am Tom and this is Nathan. We join Nathan back at HQ here. Uh, still beating himself up about what went down with Nilsa last episode. We were swinging our flail about- are we still holding the flail by the way? No, machete now. Okay, machete. Um, yeah, we were swinging our flail about trying to attack a giant wasp that was uh, attacking both Nathan and Nilsa. And uh, we made the mistake of swinging that flail a little too close to Nilsa. So we hit our friend and uh, we're no longer friends. In fact, we're on uh, we're on out for blood terms now. So uh, we did take out those wasps though. So we may as well go back and butcher the corpses since I do, it's over here. Is this right? Oh, this is, this is where the Zomborgs were. Yeah, there were Zomborgs as well. Metal structure here. Maybe we get into this at some point. I don't know what's in here. Or even if... Is this... Oh! Oh, these are... They look like walls, but they are in fact secret doors. I did not know that. Genuinely, I didn't know that. Um, no, not peak. Just... What is this? Metal wall. Yeah, it's marked as a metal wall. Open secret door. Wow. Okay. And then behind them is... Closed metal door. So we'd need to find a way in... Uh, deeper, beyond... There's not secret doors anywhere else. So how do we get past... A, a closed metal door? We've opened the secret ones. Uh, this is not what I was intending to do. I did not know those were there, genuinely. <laughs> It's going to seem like I've done some research and, and found that out, but I, I genuinely haven't. That was a purely accidental. It was this I wanted to do. Go back, stand on top of the corpse. We should be able to hit B. Yeah, capital B. Choose corpse to butcher, item to disassemble. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why it says choose corpse. Oh, wait, wait, there could be many on the stack. That's right, yeah. Uh, yeah, do that. We could do a... Oh, we could do a full butchery even. It has no skin. Okay. The full butchery's got to be the best option, even though it'll take us 30 minutes. Well, why don't we haul these back instead? So that we're not spending, you know, 30 minutes exposed like this. We could haul the corpses back, couldn't we? I mean, how long per step is that going to take? Let's leave them here for now. I do want to go back around the outside of here and see. Is there anything else inside or around? Yeah, there's the eggs. The eggs. I still wonder if we can... There's another wasp. There's another wasp. Okay. Can we do anything with the eggs? You cannot disassemble this. Hmm. There's just a wasp egg here. I can't smash it. I can't disassemble it or butcher it. I can't... Seemingly can't do anything with that. So I assume that's just going to hatch at some point. There are in fact more um, more things in here. No, that's not what we wanted. We wanted this. Uh, we'll go this way, drag these around out here, leave them with the rest. Just make sure that we're not leaving anything behind. I think that was all there was in here. It's been a little while since I was playing the game, but... Uh, yeah, that looks good to me. I'm going this way. No, there's just some splats in here, but there's nothing nothing in particular. So just grab these corpses and drag them all onto that pile there. There's another one down here. I think this might be the, uh, the Wasp Queen. Who's probably heaviest of all of these. I don't know... How much time is going to have to pass between steps here? We're at 1236.34, 1236.48. So that took about 14 seconds just to move a single tile. Uh, could take a little while to get these back then. But not too long. Just making sure there's nothing else around. What happened to the Zomborgs? Are they on that pile? could just be on that pile. There could be one of the splashed corpses. Should we take a look at what's on this, what's on this stack? Yeah? Wasp, wasp larva, wasp queen, zomborg fresh. Yeah, okay. 
Ah, fresh. Yes. So these are going to rot eventually. Um, not to worry. Let's get them moving. Get them down to the road. Whilst also predominantly moving in the right direction. We are very hungry, I've just noticed. So we'll get back and we'll get something to eat as well. Uh, this should not take too long, I don't think. It's already taken us about, what, half an hour? And another 10 minutes just to get this far. 10.32, 10.47. Yeah, it's per move it's not taking too long, but like, we obviously have quite a distance to cover here. Let's uh, leave them here for now. Uh, while I go grab something to eat. Where is all my food these days? Is it over here? It's somewhere around this area, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Have we got anything that's bad or going bad? Uh, some sealed stuff, some stuff that's only going to last uh, five days, six days. One week. Okay. Most of it's good. A lot of this is... Uh, we've got some fresh stuff here. Carrot and grapes. Uh, sourdough bread. We could cook some stuff up. We could also make something, couldn't we? What could we make? Food. We could make a... Boring sandwich. Branded fruit. Branded fruit. Cheese sandwich might be good. How long does that take? One minute. Jam and butter, jam and cheese, jam sandwich. Ooh, peanut butter and honey sandwich. That just sounds delicious. It's one of the best for calories as well. I think we're going to do the reconstituted milk, rehydrated meats, and we can make salt. We can make salt, but what can we make salt from? It requires. Saline solution. Okay. Oh, so yeah, so we're sort of uh, extracting the salt from the saline. Okay. We are going to go with the um, the peanut butter and honey sandwich. Just use the regular bread, yeah. And, uh, yeah, use the regular peanut butter. And let's eat that. Yeah. Fresh, delicious sandwich. Nice. We are no longer very hungry and we're in minimal pain. So what I'm thinking is bring these in probably to here. This is going to be our little workshop area, I think. Uh, so can we use this? Yep. Brilliant. And we'll just uh, head out and grab these, pull them in. Because if they rot in here, I don't particularly mind. Let's just dump them here and make this sort of a butchering space for the time being. The gate can't be closed. The gate can't be closed. There we go, it closed. Okay. Let's get them in the light, at least. Uh, hands are not free, which makes... Oh! Oh, I should have been paying attention to that, shouldn't I? Okay, let's just dump them here. Uh, and yeah, start the butchery process. Let's do a... Well, let's do the Wasp Queen first, right? We could also butcher everything. Full butchery would take five hours. It is... Oh, we, I mean, we could do that. Let's not bother with the full butchery of everything all at once. Let's uh, do the Wasp Queen, first of all. Full butchery, 45 minutes. I'd like to see what we get from the Wasp Queen. We're now thirsty. We harvested uh, mutant lungs. Failed to harvest mutant organs. Got a wasp sting, chunks of chitin. Chitin, sorry. Uh, wasp eggs, wasp venom glands. And we finished butchering that corpse. What do we get from a Zomborg, I want to know. We could do a lot more here. We could skin them, bleed them, quarter them. Uh, let's just do a full butchery. I don't know if we need to bleed it separately. But I do know that we need a container for, for that sort of thing. Um, we'll just do a full butchery. Oh, you can't butcher this. You are missing some tools. Okay. One tool with rope and one tool with suspending. Okay. Do we have anything in here that sort of has suspending? What does this remind me? 
hydraulic press. Okay, no. But we could build something in here eventually. Let me in the meantime... Uh, we're going to go over to this side and probably move them to tile 6 if we can. Where is... Yeah, the Zomborgs. Move both of those across because we can't do anything with them. And, uh... I don't want to haul. No, I want to butcher. We will butcher... A wasp. Do a... Full butchery. Felt to harvest quite a bit more there. Mutant organs, wasp sting, and wasp venom gland. We got some more chitin, we got some mutant lungs, we got clusters of gas sacs. Yeah. Okay. What do we get from a wasp larva? Full butchery. Uh, some more chitin. And, ooh, some more strands of endochitin, some sinews, chunks of mutant fat. Okay. We're getting a lot of good stuff here. Time of day is 3.16. Do we just butcher everything? How long is that going to take now? Two hours? I think, yeah, I'm happy to spend two hours doing that. Yeah. We get thirsty, we get hungry, but uh, I think, do we finish butchering the corpse? Yeah, totally. So show me what's on this pile. We've got, okay, so there's some fresh stuff that needs to be preserved. There's um, yeah. Right, well, let's move some stuff from the pile above me uh, onto the tile next to me here. We'll ignore the refuse. We'll take the chitin. There's a lot of chitin. How do I do this again? There's a, there's a way to move it all, isn't there? M? Yeah. Uh, so shift all of the chunks of chitin across. The mutant fat is fresh. The mutant meat, I'm guessing, is also going to spoil. We'll leave those both here. Clusters of gas sacs. This is a cluster of membranous bubbles, each about the size of a grape. Retrieved from inside a mutant insect, they float like tiny helium balloons. Perhaps they are full of lighter than air gas. Okay. These could be useful. I guess these, um, these are like a lore explanation for why they're so massive and yet can still fly. Is that right? We'll move them across. Mutant blood, uh, dirty, it's just on the ground, we can't pick that up. Um, we've got lungs here. Like a lot of meat stuff that's going to spoil eventually. Sinew. Now is Sinew going to... A tough Sinew cut from a corpse, usable as thread. I thought it was. It's marked in pink and I'm not sure why, but we will move all of the Sinew across, it's useful. Strand of Endochitin, what's that? Uh, I know of nothing that I can craft with it, but it is a piece of rigid tube-shaped chitin from the inside of a giant bug. It seemed to be performing some kind of support role. Quite sure normal insects don't have these. Okay. It, um, seems reasonable to take all of those as well. Wasp egg, okay. Okay, I don't love the fact that there are wasp eggs here. Um, great. Yeah. Ooh, I bet we can make, like, uh, a fragile, slightly quivering organ from the production and storage of wasp venom. You could extract some very useful chemicals from it with the right know-how, but only if you hurry. Okay. It's old, so it's not, uh, it's no good for that anymore, or it's no, it's gonna be no good for it by the time I know what to do with it. But I was gonna say, I bet we could make anti-venom from that. Uh, the wasp sting itself is... A six-inch stinger from a giant wasp makes a poor melee weapon. Okay. Okay, but maybe we can work it into something else, right? So let's move that across as well. The rest is... The rest is disgusting. It's so disgusting, actually. But... Yeah, the stuff that's on this pile, we'll move... Uh, we'll take it through to our... our work area. And uh, dump it on the usual pile. I think that's just this pile here. Let's see if there's anything new. It's raining! Okay. Is there anything new that we're able to make? A hollow cane? Re 
requiring... Oh no, this is something we'd, we would just know anyway, apparently. Armored suppressor, maces... There's nothing new there. Though maybe some of the materials unlock some new options for us. We can make a lot of stuff here, actually. What is the shoulder strap for? Allows the rifle to be worn over your shoulders like a piece of clothing. Okay, that's good. We should make one of those at some point soon. We can make arrows, a fishing spear. We did do some fishing at one point. I can't remember what we used. We've got uh, new down here. We've got sorbet, sweet water, teas. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing... Okay, there's a lot of interesting stuff there under electronics that we just can't make because we have no equipment to make those. Hello, armor. Armor is where we use chitin, isn't it? So maybe um, maybe there's something under here? Pair of excess scrap boots. Uh, I tell you, I think the acquisition of all that sinew, which makes thread, has opened up a lot of options for us. I think it's given us a lot of materials that we can use. We've got an XL scrap helmet and an XS scrap helmet. We've got board sandals, snow goggles. Um, a drinking hat. Tell me more about this drinking hat. Is it what I think it is? An improvised harness that can be worn over other headgear or by itself, made from two small liquid containers, a rubber hose, a bundle of steel wire and some cordage. A convenient and simple device for hands-free drinking, though it's not watertight and would spill if you put it in your backpack. Uh, net backpack, pair of two by arm guards, two by shin guards, pair of gata, pair of safety glasses. A uh, loop of rope, makeshift knapsack. A mining helmet. Pair of attached ear what, sorry? Oh, hello. Pair of attached earplugs. We do have earplugs. These are... They're attached together by some string. They hang around your neck. Use them to plug them in. It's actually very useful. Because then we wouldn't have to go, like, fumbling through our inventory to find our earplugs. We'd probably just go ahead and make that. How long does that take? Three minutes? Yeah, easy. Easy, easy, easy. We will wear those, in fact, immediately. There's so much here. <laughs> oh my god. Um, right, it's going to be under clothing. P for pair of. Pair of attached earplugs, yeah. Wear those. Uh, I put on them, yeah, but I'm not yet wearing them, am I? Yeah, in my ears, I mean. Let's see what else we can make. Under armor, pair of hand wraps, makeshift ear something, oh, makeshift earplugs, okay. Pair of sock mitts, a rag tunic, rioter mask, tinfoil hat, towel, okay, I'm not sure about... I'm not sure if there's anything that uses the kite in here yet. We uh, scroll further down. The stuff that we don't have the materials for that we know, but we don't have the materials for. There's a lot here. Keeping on, we don't know anything about appliances we can do in other. A banded wooden cartwheel. Oh, hello, chitin armor kit. What is this? A piece of light chitin plating made for a vehicle. Okay. How good is chitin then? Is it good enough for a vehicle? Or is the uh, the steel body of the vehicles that we've already got just better? We do have that as an option though. Folding table. Oh hello, wooden dog whistle. If we were to find a dog, we don't have any dog food, but if we were to find a dog, uh, that'd be useful for, as I understand it, the dogs can be um, essentially uh, set to their default behavior, in which case they'll get curious, they might attack enemies, or they can be called back with the whistle and go into sort of like a, 
a tame sort of stay behavior. And I think that's how the whistle works. Anesthesia kit? A kit for inducing anesthesia for surgery? Don't know how useful that is to us. Tobacco pipe, wood boat hull. A wood boat hull? Like the entire hull? A wooden board that keeps the boat afloat. Add boat hulls to a vehicle until it floats. Then attach oars or a motor to get the boat to move. Add boat hulls to a vehicle until it floats. Any vehicle. Because, you know, I think I saw Andy of Andy's Cool Channel do something like that. I'm thinking, yeah, we, we could... Oh, wait, you can make a motorbike uh, sail, <laughs> essentially. Um, that's an option. Pet carrier, smoother, stepladder, uh, book binder, what's that good for? With a pen and some paper, you could copy some res some recipes from books, okay. Bow fire drill, charcoal water purifier, uh, gas mask cartridge, okay, good stuff there. Plastic fish traps, sail, is that sail what I think it is? Sail for a boat. Interesting. Stone adds, stone chopper, survival marker? This is a sharpened piece of charcoal that is... Oh, I know about this, yeah. Use it to write something down, yeah. Wooden armor kit. Antiseptics. Antiseptics? What? Soaked cotton, soaked rag. Cattail jelly, makeshift antiseptic. Okay, yeah, okay. That's what we can make there. Bundle of items. What's in here? Copper tubing, pipes, planks. Okay. Ooh, a chicken cage. A frame loom, gallon jug, hammock. Um, okay, let's ignore all of that for now. We've got new stuff under practice too. Bandaging advanced, basic carpentry and carving. Okay. Okay, well we've got a new pair of earplugs. What is on the table in front of me, by the way? Oh, a ton of stuff. Okay. Never mind that then. It is raining, so... So we're probably stuck indoors for now. Unless I'm... I'm not carrying... I am carrying a rain poncho. I am, in fact, wearing a rain poncho. Can I use the rain poncho at all? Like, put the hood up? No, the hood up... Yeah, the hood comes up automatically. I remember. I am very thirsty and very hungry. I should eat again. Um... Yeah, let's do that then. Let's uh, eat. We really need to get like stuff hooked up, like uh, an, an oven or some sort of cooking area. I took the... Oh, hello. Here's an oven. Okay. I did take the fridge out of there. We do need to get another one at some point. Uh, let's just for now eat the... I don't see why we don't make something instead. What can we make food-wise? We can make a. We can make a rehydrated lobster. Peanut butter sandwich again. I do love peanut butter sandwiches. Cocktails and mixed drinks. What's under here? A fancy hobo, a screwdriver, a wild apple, and a calimo calimoxo. Equal parts wine and cola. Originating in Spain in the 1920s. Tastes better than it sounds. Wine and cola? We're talking white wine or red? It doesn't sound great. I am imagining, like, on my palate, I'm imagining, like, red wine and cola, which does not taste great. Or maybe, I don't know. Because you get sort of the, um... sort of bitter flavors of the the red wine and the uh the fizz of the cola it could work i don't know it could work let's do a peanut butter and honey sandwich again once again use the uh regular bread and peanut butter uh and we will eat that absolutely love a peanut butter and uh honey sandwich we'll have some of this old pineapple juice we need to get this used clearly um still thirsty 
So let's have some more pineapple juice. We're no longer thirsty. There we go. We are satisfied. How are we doing for calories today? Probably... Calories are fine. Oh, and we're so good for, like, vitamin intake. That's, yeah. Excellent. Wonderful. We're probably not eating healthy at all, so there's probably... Some stat we're screwing up, but... What are we going to do with these? What can I make that's got... Well... I said I needed rope, and I needed something, um... Something else. So is there anything on the pile over here? Like if I would search for rope. Long rope. And seven short ropes. Okay. So then I just need some kind of like frame, right? Frame. Okay. A large frame made of wood. Useful for crafting. Okay. Small frame made of a few pieces of wood held together by rope, useful for crafting. Um, is it is it something like that that we need though, or have we got? I'm trying to think what else we would call it. Uh, if I search for butcher something, butcher knife, metal butchering rack, butchering kit. Metal butchering rack designed to hang a carcass in the air. It is folded for easy transportation. But we could do a frame, right? I know you can use a tree as well. We don't have a tree in here. It says to do a full butchery, we need one tool with rope of two or more. One tool with suspending. Okay. Um, do we have anything in here with suspending? Surely we do. What is this? Drill press, okay. No, I don't think we do. And this is not a platform that rises up, no. But we could certainly make something that has suspending. So is it like quality suspending that we're looking for? Could be, could be. Let's take a look for that. Um, so it's Q for quality, right? Yeah, Q, suspending. Bending. No. What about the uh, this menu? Construction. Why is this looking quite empty? Because window, window selected. Okay, that's why. Well, what have we got? What can we do? Oh, there's so many things here. Wooden railing. Metal trash can. Um, do these have qualities at all? Oh, metal rack. Sheet metal shelving unit. No, no, no. Shelving unit. No. We've got a lot of options. Makeshift door, door. Deconstruct furniture. No. Um, let's search for the word frame again. Bed frame. Skylight frame. Window frame. No. What would you call it? Suspare? Sus just susp? No. Like, uh, butchering. Butcher. Butchering rack. Okay. We need six long sticks. And... Either two pointy sticks or two spikes. Uh, we've got none of any of that. Though can I make two pointy sticks or two spikes right now? Can I? Search for spike. I can make a spike. Oh, I can make two spikes easily. We have 56 uh, steel. Okay, what about... Um, uh, what about... It was pointy stick, wasn't it? So... Search for stick and find. We only have uh, 13 planks. We're not using the chunk of steel for anything else, so let's just. We'll do the spike, I think. 
Make uh, make two of these. And I've forgotten what the button is for doing uh, the previous craft, so we'll just do it this way again. I have no idea how long that's taking me. I didn't check. But there we go, two spikes. So, with two spikes, what was it we were looking at? We were looking at this. We would just need six long sticks, we have zero. But I know how to get long sticks. Question is, can I get long sticks from anywhere in here? Probably not. Like, I could take things apart, but would we get sticks out of them? I don't think so. I think we'd get planks. I think we'd get... Uh, wood. But no, not long sticks. I don't really want to go out in the rain to gather long sticks. I also, um... I have a good view out there. Look at the back. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything nearby immediately. I know there's the forest to the west. So we'll probably go back across here and look in the... Yeah, it's a bit further. Look in this forest and probably find some long sticks in there. Like this, we can probably smash this and take... Um, and there's another one there, like the, the withered looking trees. Another one there. Um... I don't know, I don't, I don't think we want to go out in the rain. How are we feeling for, like, weariness and need of rest? We're fine. Oh, I don't know what to be doing then. Practice something? May as well practice the bandaging. Or... Basic carpentry, carving. These would unlock more. It will not increase your fabrication skill above two. But my fabrication is... Already four, okay. Will not increase healthcare above three, and my healthcare is already three. Uh, but we're missing wound care expert, I guess. Which we could advance towards. We're missing basic carpentry. And we're missing... Carving. Does practicing these get me to those? I think it probably does, right? That's why these are browned out. The white ones, we can still get some benefit from them, even if it isn't skill advancing. Let's uh, practice uh, basic carpentry for a bit. I can hit... Uh... Um... Yeah, go ahead. Can no longer see well enough to do that. It's still raining as well. How are we doing on the basic carpentry? Yeah, we okay. One point zero times failure because we don't have basic carpentry. I don't know. What that means, whether we need to get basic carpentry from somewhere else. Because we're practicing basic carpentry. You'd think we'd get there eventually, right? I don't know. We had nothing else to do, but uh, we're okay right now. Weariness is light. I don't, can we sleep at the moment? Might be a good time to do it, what with the rain. Would also be a good time, if it weren't for the rain, to go out and just hunt zombies and... Otherwise, I don't, I don't really know what to do right now. We can turn a lamp on. We can turn a light on. That is possible. Oh, we've also got... Is this just in progress? Um, right here. No, from right in front of me. Is this a... Uh... In progress, basic carpentry. There it is. Yeah, why don't we turn a, like a light on? And do we have a flashlight? Yeah. Turn that on, and we'll just continue this craft for the time being. It is on the desk in front of me. 
Uh, in progress basic carpentry. I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to A. Can we find it in here? In progress? because I spelled it wrong. In progress, and no hyphen. There we go. Work on craft. Yes. Uh, sure, store it in inventory for now, yeah. Keep going with this until... You can no longer see well enough to keep crafting because the torch ran out. But I've got loads of batteries. So, where's that torch? Inventory. Flashlight. Uh, reload. Yeah, we've got so many things here. Am I wearing some of these? Just use that one. And uh, we can turn it back on if we want. And continue the basic carpentry if it's still there. In progress, basic carpentry. We're so close to finishing it anyway. Uh, and no, don't continue. Because it's, it's done now, isn't it? If we take a... Uh, Look for it. We no longer have the in-progress thing. There we go. Okay. Turn the old uh, flashlight off then. What did we get for that? We got splintered wood. I know that much. I don't think we're advancing towards basic carpentry, are we? Oh, maybe we are. We're 50%... We have 50% proficiency in basic carpentry. I didn't check this before. I think we are advancing there. We're also 79% of the way there to wound care experts. Can we do that in the dark? Wound care expert. We can... It's hard to do in the dark. We could probably sleep. What time is it? 8.31pm. Let's just do that. We'll just go sleep. What a miserable day. Uh, yeah, I forgot the button to sleep. It's that one. Uh, yes, and we will save the game before sleeping. Uh, no, please don't set an alarm. We will wake when we wake. Uh, continue trying to fall asleep. Continue trying. There we go. Not a problem. Okay, Nathan. Thank God it's Friday. Survive for a week. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the first time I've got that achievement, right? I think it is. I think it's genuinely the first time I've got this achievement. I've never seen Thank God It's Friday before anyway. And I know no other series has lasted a full week, I don't think. Uh, so yeah, Survive for a Week completed year one, spring, day 69, 3.50, 17am. Triggered by wake up. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's early in the morning. The rain has stopped. We should eat. Okay, I was afraid there for a second because there was a, uh, a noise. Um, okay. Again, with the noises, stop. <laughs> I know there's nothing around. Okay. <sighs> Let's uh, make another peanut butter and honey sandwich because we fucking love peanut butter and honey sandwiches. Yep. I cannot see to craft. Totally fine. I can turn on a flashlight. And take a look outside. There's nothing out there. It's fine. Uh, let's once again try the old... It's on recent anyway. There we go. Uh, yeah, use the bread. Use the peanut butter. And eat that peanut butter and honey sandwich. And also drink this old pineapple juice. Both of them. Eat this old grape. And also this old carrot. May as well. Oh, we've got loads more carrots. Uh, let's eat one more carrot. Fine. 
and uh, turn off the old flashlight. We're good. We've eaten. Uh, do I have anything to drop that I want to drop? Probably. I forget what the multi-drop is. Let's drop right here. Uh, comma. Yeah, anything. Okay, bunch of splintered wood, actually. And also tainted blood, rotten. Tainted blood. Is that what I think it is? Blood that's obviously unhealthy, you could eat it, but it will poison you. Inside blood draw kit. Oh. Does it need to be fresh? Oh, I don't know if that needs to be fresh. If it needs to be fresh, then what we need to be able to do is um, draw blood and get to the uh, the uh, centrifuge in like like no time at all. Because we only got that blood yesterday, I think. But I, I don't know if it needs to be fresh. Uh, I'm going to mark it as not for dropping anyway. Everything else can be... Apart from the machete, I'm, I should be wielding that, right? I guess I didn't put it back in my hands, so... We'll go back to wielding the... Uh, machete, please. Thank you. And yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a brand new day. Come on. We'll make the most of it being still a little bit dark out and uh, go explore a little bit. Although I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're uh, intending to do exactly. And the sun is rising quickly. There's a lot more to do. Bunch of threats on our map. We have some motorcycle gear down here to go back and pick up at some point. We should um, uh, make our way to the music. Is it the uh, the music store and the library? We want to hit both of those. We wanted to get some long sticks. That's exactly what we wanted to do, Tom. Why are we going anywhere else? Long sticks are the game today. There's absolutely no reason to um, go elsewhere. Let's just. Uh, is it smash this or... Hang on, examine? Can't examine it. Uh, we could just smash it or we could try to use something. We could try to use the machete to cut up an item, no. We could use the... Um... I don't think we've got anything on us that is... No, okay. Let's just smash this then. Here, whack. Here, whack. Can I not do what I... It's a young tree. It's not the right sort of thing, is it? Oh, no, it is. We've got a long stick from that. Fantastic. Let me move the long stick across. All we want is the long stick, so I'm going to uh, shift that out of the way up here. Okay. I'm going to leave it there, leave it there. And uh, we'll zoom back out. So just um, just five more of those needed. Smash, 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 smash. Uh, did we get a long stick? We got one more long stick. Fantastic, okay. Pull that up to its friend, and that's two. I know sometimes they drop more than two, uh, more than one, I mean. Where's more of these young trees? There are more of these young trees. Oh, I'm really not seeing any more. Is there more down here? There's one. Uh, don't step on the blackberry bush now. Smash, smash. Once again with the long stick. Uh, let me just move this one out of the forest. We're going to 
pop it here. If you could look after that me for look after that for me, Aphid, please, that would be awesome. That's three. Okay, there's two more here. Sometimes they take a while to smash. Uh, there are no items here to haul. No, we want uh, one long stick. Oh, no, wait, two long sticks. Three long sticks. Four long sticks. That's all the long sticks we need, actually. That's perfect. Okay, fantastic. Did the other ones just give us one and then that one gave us, like, four? So I feel like that's the case. I can't remember what we wanted these to build, but we wanted these to build something. Like a butchery frame, butchery rack, right? Okay. Get these back and uh, take them in. Should be able to make, make a uh, butchery rack in here somewhere. Uh, I think I've just stopped hauling. Okay. Long sticks for the pile here. And um, our pile is beginning to overflow, so. Okay. Um, it was under the construction menu. Build butchering rack. We have everything we need except survival three. Because I am on survival two. Okay. How do I get my survival up? Any reading I can do? Well, first of all, let's uh, take a look at these books. We, ha we have no idea what's in them. Uh, that's red as well. Okay, anything with survival? Survival to three! Hello. Pitching a tent. Uh, read a chapter in 17 minutes. Let's do that. Uh, read until we gain a level, please. That's taking some time. It's taking a long time. Thirsty. But the alternative to this is... Thirsty and very hungry, let's... I want to say stop. I really want to say stop. Very thirsty, very hungry. We're so close now. There we go. Survival is three. Let's have something to eat. I don't know, let's have a... Um, peanut butter and... Um, honey sandwich. Yeah. Love me some peanut butter and honey. Uh, yeah, just use the bread. Uh, I'm forgetting that the bread actually gets used two at a time. Peanut butter and honey sandwich, brilliant. And we will have a... Uh, uh, something to drink. Do we have water here somewhere? We have apple cider. Do we not have water here? Water. We do, of course we do. Let's have one of these mineral waters. Two of those, in fact. And, um, let's maybe also have a carrot. A couple of carrots. And you know what? We can now build the butchering rack because it requires survival three? What are you talking about? I did just hit survival three. Did I, did I not? I have survival of two. What? being affected by something, isn't it? What's knocking that down? Uh, knowledge level 3. Okay. Crafting skill 2. What? Your skill in surviving the wilderness and in crafting various basic survival items, this also covers your ability to skin and butcher animals for meat and hides. Sure. Is it... Is it thirst that's affecting me here, or...? Apparently I feel very good. Lifestyle, feel very good. That's awesome. Um, I think that's a hidden stat, right? That's your health stat or something? Lifestyle? If you're eating healthy... Maybe, but I feel very good, which is excellent. Nathan feels very good. Um, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? Maybe you have a bit more to drink? Because we're still showing 
first at negative 5%, but... Hmm. Yeah, let's have a little bit more to drink. Have, a, have some water. Uh, just, uh... Well, may as well have more mineral water. It also increases joy. Hunger is full. We should be, like, A-OK. -okay. I oh, see, but now full is is negative two percent. Why is survival crafting skill like two with twenty six percent when I've just read it up to three? There's something I'm still misunderstanding about this game. Um, knowledge level is three, but crafting skill is two. I did not know those differed. Can we attempt it? Okay. Okay, we can. Um, right, let's make sure that we have all the bits and bobs that we need. So let's find the long sticks. Uh, long sticks, oh god. Yeah, long, long sticks, fine. So, let's move five. Okay, no, sorry. This whole stack plus one to there. What else do we need for this? I can't remember. Six long sticks. One short rope. Two long strings. What is the, uh... On a long rope, what is it? Is it the, uh, the, the what's the quality of it? Like, um, what's the ropiness quality of it is what I'm trying to say. Let me see if I can scroll down. Has a level two rope quality. Whereas the short rope has, sorry, no, just show me the short rope. The short rope has level uh, where is it? Come on. No, genuinely, where is it? It's actually not saying on this one. Does a short rope not have rope quality? <laughs> it's entirely possible it doesn't. Okay, well... The recipe calls for short rope, and also we'll need the long rope anyway, so let's, uh, let's double check what we need here. One short rope, okay, plus two spikes. Brilliant. That is it. Okay, wonderful. So let's uh, let's shift across the one short rope. We'll take the long rope because we're going to need it anyway. And we're going to look for spikes now. Spike. Okay, those are my inventory already. They could be in my inventory already, or they could be... Do I have the spikes in here? Are they in here? No. All right, where are spikes? Where are spikes? Sorry. There they are. Uh, yeah. Can I put those in my inventory? Will they fit? They will. Okay, wonderful. And let's uh, drag everything. Yeah, my hands are not free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to make a butchery rack. It's going to go right here. I think, yeah, having... Uh, sunlight from the window is a good idea. Yeah, yeah, this can be our little butchery corner. I think right here. Yeah, yeah, okay. We've got everything we need, so let's stop hauling, and we're going to build the butchering rack here. That's done. So if I now... If I... Okay. Drag the Zomborgs, and we'll pull them around this way, into this pile here. Can I... Butcher the Zomborg fully. I can fully butcher a Zomborg. Oh, yeah, that's excellent. Uh, does that put anything in my inventory? Maybe. I don't know. Wouldn't know. Can't find anything. Okay, but what it will do is drop a bunch of stuff on this pile. Butchery refuse? A lot of it. Um, extra light frame? That's come from the Zomborg, has it? Okay. 
Tainted meat, tainted bone. Tainted bone marrow, tainted fat. Pulped corpse of a Zomborg. Wait, we just butchered that, right? Spring. Uh, more copper wire. Awesome. Can always use more copper wire. Electronic scrap processor board. Scrap metal. Oh, yeah, so we're happy to have used the scrap metal to make the spikes, I think, because we've just got more of it. More sinew. Um, small metal sheet and spring. Okay. Oh, no, it's because I moved both across. So, yeah, we've got another Zomborg, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, Zomborg. Full butchery. It'll only take an hour. It's fine. May as well get it butchered. Uh, that's that's done. So, yeah, also it was telling me I could uh, disassemble the processor board, disassemble the copper wire, disassemble the spring, cut up the processor board, disassemble everything once, or disassemble everything recursively. Ooh, recursively. Very nice. Um... But no, yeah, that's worked. You know what I might do is all that's yeah, all that's here is the rope. What I might do is move the rope like here, because I think it just needs to be adjacent, and we don't want it to get like mixed up with the stuff that's on the pile where we're doing the butchering. So I think that works. I might even you know, I think the corner works like that. So it's sort of, you know, it's adjacent. It's always there when we're doing the butchering because we'll need it, but yeah, okay, brilliant. Okay, so we can now do full butcheries. That's that's good. That's good progress. We can hunt. Oh yeah, hell yeah, we can hunt. Um, I'm not sure what we can hunt. We could take out some of these aphids if we wanted. We could uh, go and find more stuff to do. The point is, we can now extract a lot more parts from uh, from creatures and enemies and stuff like that. So this is a huge development. I just don't know fully what the material benefit of all is yet, but how much do we have in terms of copper wire? Tell me. Seven. Okay, so that's from two Zomborgs. Seven copper wire. That's like 3.5 per, isn't it? One probably had four, the other probably had three. So yeah, uh, not a great average on copper wire because we do need a lot. We want to wire this place up eventually. But to do that, we actually need solar panels. We actually need large storage batteries of some sort. And I think that's my next major goal. What time of day is it? It's already the PM. God, we've already burned through so much of this day. I think we want to finally go back to the north of the town here, where we first entered and go to this radio station. It's got to have cleared up by now, hasn't it? I think if we can clear this street north of the hospital, that would be a good idea as well. That's our next job. And slowly we'll work our way in. We'll get closer to the hospital. Eventually we will go and get some blood analysed. Eventually get to the uh, library and the music store. But for the time being, Nathan and I are going to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us both for this episode of cataclysm naked and afraid and we will see you next time all right